Welcome everyone to the latest weather forecast and in this video we're going to be talking about a new snowstorm expected to move across parts of Europe over the next few days as well as what's coming next. Then I'll give you the latest information on what we have going on across the United States. If you find the following video useful please do consider subscribing for detailed weather information for Europe and the United States. With that said please enjoy chapter 1 of today's video. For the first portion of this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the latest information on Europe's weather, since a very active and cold pattern is continuing. Right now we have a storm system affecting the Iberian Peninsula with very heavy rain and strong wind. This is the moisture which will become our snowstorm in Central Europe over the next few days. We have already started to see some heavy snow across the Alps, but it's only going to increase in coverage as we go forward. By later today, we're going to start seeing some snowfall start up across Slovakia and Hungary before spreading into Ukraine overnight. Then another push of moisture begins tonight into tomorrow. Between Friday night into Saturday, we're going to see a much more well-defined band of snow, which is going to develop on the northern end of this moisture from the Alps into Ukraine. This band of snow will be moving straight eastward, which of course means that any areas directly under this band of snow could see some pretty significant totals. We can see that very heavy snowfall gradually shifting towards southern Poland and Belarus later on Saturday, with the low pressure system entering western Ukraine by Sunday, which could bring another round of heavy snow to portions of Belarus. The low pressure area will quickly move into western Russia by Sunday evening into the nighttime. So that's what we're going to be looking at over the next few days regarding this new snowstorm. But we're going to take a break from looking at the models because I wanted to show you how much snow and rainfall we're going to see from this storm. We can see that swath of snow pretty well defined from the French Alps all the way into Belarus. The heaviest snow totals will of course fall in the mountains, but especially where you see those red shades in the French Alps and also over Austria. Those areas could see over 100 centimeters of snowfall just from this one snowstorm, and this is because we're going to have a very persistent band of snow just continuing to funnel into those mountains. Then as you head eastward into Slovakia, Czechia, and then extending into Ukraine and Belarus, you can see that swath of snowfall continuing. Areas in the green could see anywhere between 15 to 25 centimeters of snowfall with isolated totals to 30 centimeters. Then in the yellow we could see between 30 and 45 centimeters of snow with isolated accumulations as high as 50 centimeters. This will be most likely in southern Poland, northern Slovakia, and western Ukraine, which is a region that could see a very prolonged period of heavy snow. This system will also be a big rainmaker, so that means flooding will be a concern. For Thursday, November 30th, a risk of heavy rainfall will be centered over parts of Portugal into Spain, with other areas like France and Hungary also possibly seeing heavy rainfall. On Friday, the main threat will shift into central Spain along the cold front, with parts of central Europe also at risk. Then on Saturday, the main risk of heavy rain will be confined to portions of Austria, with lower elevations in southern Poland and western Ukraine seeing an elevated risk of heavy rain. In summary of what we just reviewed, anywhere in this red shade can expect some impactful precipitation and or wind, and then depending on where you are, you could also see some very heavy snow. But now we're going to turn our attention towards the west with a new system coming in. This small area of moisture could bring our next chance for a brief shot of snow to parts of the UK, France, and the Benelux countries between Saturday and Sunday. I'll have more details on this possible snowfall once we get some more information, but for now take a look at this new Atlantic system we will have approaching by Sunday. This system will be accompanied by some warmer air, so we will probably see less snowfall from this system. Even still, as we start the work week on December 4th, we could see a robust system moving into France with even some patches of snow possibly showing up in southern England, with rain switching to snow over Central Europe as we go into Tuesday, December 5th. This system I just showed is going to be the first signs of a changing weather pattern as we go deeper into December. This is the weekly outlook for November 29th into December 6th, and you can really see where that main storm track is going to be. This is going to be dictated especially by the storm we have developing right now, which will spread heavy rainfall from Iberia all the way through Central Europe and into Western Russia. At the same time, Scandinavia and the British Isles, as well as the Mediterranean, look to dry out quite a bit. 
the pattern change I mentioned moments ago will take hold a few days into December. So here's the weekly outlook through December 13th. And yes, look at how much it's going to change. It's looking like a warmer and westerly pattern is going to come back, with the British Isles, Iberian Peninsula, and the Adriatic Sea region taking the brunt of these storms. In terms of temperatures, we're going to see a warming trend primarily for southern Europe, although the UK, Ireland, and Nordic countries could still be holding on to that colder air. So that's all I have now for the European weather update, so definitely make sure you stay tuned for further updates in the coming days, especially regarding a sneaky snow chance for the Benelux countries and the UK, as well as the upcoming significant pattern change. Now with that in mind, we're going to turn our attention towards the United States for a quick update on the latest. For today, November 30th, we actually have a tornado threat across parts of Texas as a new storm develops. The severe weather potential today is actually rather complicated, with the tornado risk being very conditional. Basically, what this means is that we're going to have a lot of factors that could stop the severe threat from developing, but at the same time, other parameters are still favorable. If you do live in that area, be aware of the threat of severe storms today with an elevated risk of tornadoes. This storm will bring widespread rainfall across the east, with very beneficial rain across the southeast U.S., which is going to be fed by an active subtropical jet stream. Over the next seven days, very heavy rain is expected between Texas into Georgia, with three to five inches possible in the red. The heaviest precipitation is expected in southern Louisiana, where we could see widespread and persistent thunderstorms. And beyond that, looking towards the western United States, a long-duration winter storm is expected to impact the west with extremely heavy precipitation in Washington and Oregon. The seven-day precipitation totals are actually very impressive, especially for far northern California into British Columbia, with as much as 15 inches of liquid precipitation in the yellow areas. All of this precipitation won't fall as rain since it will be heading into the mountains, so even just through December 3rd, look at how much snow we have across the west. Heavy snowfall will be likely anywhere from the northwest all the way down to New Mexico, but the heaviest snow will occur in the northwest. Some of the highest peaks in the Cascade Mountain Range could see up and over 100 inches of snow. More details on this storm will be posted on the channel soon, as well as additional updates on the weather across Europe. With this in mind, that will conclude today's weather forecast. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.